finally altered. Men are still dominant in competitive sports teams, but women only account for 20% of those people. According to Joseph Nesson and Nikki Francis, professors from Knox College and women, states in Women in Sports, this is a collectivity journal published in April of 2016. Everyone in this room has been to an event or activity sponsored by Minnesota State High School League. Minnesota State High School League should allow all genders to participate on the same sports teams. First, I will discuss the problem that happens when we aren't allowed to participate on the same sports teams, and then I will offer a practical solution to participating on the same sports team. To begin, I will discuss some of the problems that happen when we don't have one of them being stereotypes. Raphael Warren, a professor from the University of Fort Maine, states in the Canadian Journal of Behavioral Science, published in November of 2018, shares that stereotypes are one of the main reasons we have gender biased sports teams. We don't have gender mixed sports teams. An example we have here at the Redmond Up High School is we have an all girl gym class offered, but we do not have an all guys, an all guys gym class offered. Part of this being that girls would rather pass to girls and guys would rather pass to guys in gym class. So we have those stereotypes in a normal gym class. This is a significant problem in today's society because two people have been suing Minnesota State High School League for their rights. That would be Zach Greenwald and Dimitri Morrow. They have filed a lawsuit against Minnesota State High School League because they were denied the right to dance because of their sex. In the ongoing court case of Dimitri Morrow and Zach Greenwald versus Minnesota State High School League, updated in October of 2018, states that prohibiting boys dancing is a violation of the Title IX in the Education Amendment of 1972. This law is a federally funded law to prevent the money being used to sponsor these events from being used as a sex discrimination. In Title IX, they use it as a prevention, as a prevention policy. The U.S. Department of Justice, or the U.S. Department of Justice, a cabinet-level agency responsible for enforcing the law, in the overview of Title IX, published in August, August of 2015, states that any activity that is federally funded should not be used towards sex discrimination. So, in sports, this is a major problem because we have teams that aren't allowing other people to perform. Another thing pointed out in this court case was that it, it violated, it also violated the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. In the Equal Protection Clause, the government is supposed to treat each body with the same manner, which means that the boys should be allowed to dance or girls should be allowed to play a guy's sport. In, sec, in Chapter 121A, Section 0.04 of the Minnesota Statute and the Minnesota State High School League's Handbook, under the Acting Color of law rules out that in a court case we have to use immediate scrutiny and immediate scrutiny is used in the court to determine its constitutionality. So for this is a they have two main points that are allowed for this to happen. Now that I've showed you two many reasons why that we have a problem with mixed gender why we don't have mixed gender sports teams I'll now explain some workable solutions. Pam Saylor, a philosophy professor at Missouri State, explains in the Journal of Philosophy of Behavior or of Sports published in January of 2014, states that when we have biased sports teams, when we have biased sports teams, not everyone is allowed to express who they are. When Minnesota State High School League has these rules, Children are not allowed to express who they are and what they enjoy doing. When we remove the gender bias rules from the Minnesota State Handbook, everyone should be allowed to express who they are freely. This is a workable solution to gender bias sports teams. Another workable solution would be to add more teams. So we could still have separate teams, but there could also be a team that's mixed gender at the same time because when we're out with our friend, it's a mixed group of people and you guys like to play sports together. To Zach Greenwald and Dimitri Morrow, this is a desirable solution 
because it'll allow them to dance and express who they are. Once we have this, we have a balanced sports team. We, have, we will still have balanced teams. First, I discuss the, pro or the problems that occur when we do not have a gender biased sports team. Then I explain, so, explain some workable solutions to this. Minnesota State High School League should allow all gender bias or all sports to be mixed gender. Once we have the 20%, once we remove the gender bias rules, the 20% of women should hopefully increase and be allowed to participate in more sports. 